What's up guys and welcome back to On The Brick where today I have a small and quick but so wonderful build for you guys. This is Ursa Major from John Carter of Earth. This nice little vignette contains 189 pieces and is just perfect. There's no complaints at all about this thing. Now I will say that I built most of it using non-LEGO pieces, but you can build this for pretty cheap using normal LEGO if you want, and the instructions are completely free. As always, they'll be linked in the description down below. This is one of a series of builds that John Carter is doing. This was the first that he ever made, and in this one, it just shows a rocket taking off going through the sky and atmosphere into space with the Big Dipper above it. For those of you who don't know, the Big Dipper is actually known as Ursa Major in most cultures as it represents a bear, same with the Little Dipper being Ursa Minor. And I just love everything about how this came together. I love the grade going from a white all the way down to the black, and how it looks so natural going through this pink, this maroon, and then this dark purple. It looks really good. He does this nice technique where it's not just one block of one color and then a block of another color, but as you can see, he interlaces them a little bit so that transition looks a little smoother, and it works very nicely. As it goes up then and it gets darker, it allows for the white of this rocket exhaust and the rocket itself to really stand out and be the focal point of this. And then the rocket itself points you straight to Ursa Major itself, which is wonderful. Now when I was building this and when I first saw this, I did have to wonder how was this exactly done and it's extremely simple actually. Flipping it around, it is so much more simple than I thought it would be. All of these are headlight pieces with these tooth pieces stuck inside of them. I think that's what they are, or like these claws. You'll know what they are here. It's such a simple technique that works so wonderfully. And if I pull all the way out, you'll notice this isn't just some bricks stacked on top of each other. There is a slight Technic structure here, and there's a reason for that. John Carter makes all of these vignettes so that you can hang them on a wall. Obviously, I'm not going to show that to you right now as I can't really do that, but it still works wonderfully. For being a small set like this, it is very, very sturdy, and all this technic and whatnot makes it hold together very well, so you should be able to hold it onto a wall perfectly fine with, like, no problems at all. Here it is next to a random clone that I pulled off the shelf just so you can see how tall it is. It's not really that big, this isn't anything that's gonna like blow you away in size, but it doesn't have to. I just, I love everything about this. It's a small vignette, that's all it needs to be. Also, I really wanted to highlight these like exhaust bubbles on the bottom. Um, it's not, it's more like the smoke clouds to be honest here and just how smart this is. You can connect them in a few different ways and it just looks good. I really don't have any complaints about this or anything. It just looks good. It's a very simple build. It'll take you maybe 20 minutes to put together and the final result is so wonderful that I want to go and get the rest of these. And that's really it. So thank you so much for watching today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and what other builds I should look at. There's only a few days left in the April minifig giveaway, so make sure you go over and enter if you haven't yet. And if you want to support me, consider checking me out on Instagram, Discord, and of course on Patreon, where you can join all these wonderful people and get shoutouts like Jonathan. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.